Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of corset to talk about this view. This view is different from other people that run roof cam and a lot of people have been asking because this view is not my cockpit view. It's a third person view that I've set up. So I'm gonna go over how I got my camera and everything to get into this view here in this episode. So make sure you follow me on all social media, all what you found in description box below. We are on mega space a different mega space than i'm used to when from esda it's got a little bit of a different uh, line in some aspects we are in the new vdc cars see this normally i'd run wide but this is an inner clip down here to almost kind of a wall ride but not really a wall ride oh kind of stalled the car out there oh Still trying to get my settings and everything set for these cars. I did do a fresh install of a set of Corsa. So a lot of my uh, settings and everything are not correct. So trying to get those back dialed in. See if we can't get uh, a tandem run or two here. And then we'll go take a look at how I got my camera to be this way. Can't see Ruger. Get a chance to maybe try and get. So this cam uses utilizes neck effect and a third person camera. So it's totally different than just running your in-car camera, which utilizes the fact that I can still have my in-car camera, which is nice. But it pivots in everything correctly how I want it to based on my neck effect settings. Thought he was gonna die. Oh, my bad, dude. <laughs> Got a little aggressive. I totally forgot that that is an inner clip and not an outer zone. <laughs> so it's definitely a very different style of getting roof cam, which a lot of people don't do. And then I also have a much higher third person camera as well, just so that I can drive this way and see if I can get him view him in chase oh it was way offline there ah no Drifting in third person is definitely something I've lost my touch for. I used to be able to do this all the time, but now recently I've driven in first person mostly. So this third person view is very weird to me. <laughs> so that is definitely uh, very different, but today we're it's all about talking about this roof cam view that a lot of people, like I said, have been asking me about and how I do it. So we're going to do one more run here and then we'll get into the game and we'll talk about how I get my settings like that and then we will uh, do some more slides. So we can't file in on this. Not used to this being an inner clip. This is kind of more of a mid zone than a deep zone. All right, so we are in a set of Corsa content manager to get this chase camera set up for that third person view on the roof so that you can still keep your first person view utilizing your neck effects in first person. So the main thing we need to go into is custom shader pack and we need to go into chase chaser camera and make sure the extension is active as well as I'm running basic script. Uh, I haven't really messed with any of the other ones, but basic is what I've been running. And then I'm not worried about the joysticks or anything like that because I don't it doesn't have any effect, but if you want to set it exactly like this, I would definitely probably recommend doing that because that's just how it is. And I've never really messed with these settings too much to figure out if that actually causes any 
change. So the next thing we need to do is go into a set of Corsa and go to chase camera. And this is where you're going to do the adjustments to get it to where it sits on the roof the way it does in my game. So the parameters for the first person camera, which is my roof cam, is right here. We have a distance of 0.74, a height of 2.57, and a pitch of negative 10.1. So these are the settings on the slider that I use. You can actually go in here and just type them in rather than trying to fine tune them and slide them. These are the things they use to get my roof cam to where it sits, how it is. And then with that active chase camera extension, that's going to allow it to do the pivoting and everything like that, which is very much based on angle of the car. So these are the settings that I'm using to get that roof cam because I know a lot of people have been asking. So this is where we're at. We're going to go back into the game, run a little more tandems and stuff like that. So I'll catch you guys more on grid. So we are back here on VDC stirrups in dc gp new cars and uh see mills are racing everywhere and we're gonna be running some laps here in the in the cam that we just talked about chasing down that fd not to slow down that much now shifting the third Oh, he's in the wall. <laughs> Tried to save him. So I hope this video explains a lot about the camera that I'm using up here. Because like I said, it does not take away from being able to have this view as well. It doesn't take away from having my first person view simultaneously with my roof cam view that a lot of people use in competition so I can still continue to use. I'm way offline. My in-car view. On top of having a roof cam view. Which is quite fun to be able to have both views just simultaneously set up as well as a really high third person. Both views set up and having we could be able to go back and forth between the two and not have to worry about if I want to run first person, if I'm going to be having to constantly adjust the driver view and stuff like that. He's out. Oh, I followed him wide. <laughs> So it's definitely uh, a good thing for me to have both. I hope this does help. Now, it may take a quick minute to get used to the way the camera pivots and stuff like that if you're used to running neck effect. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All of which is found in the description box below. Oh, that guy's, what the? Rude. That guy was a little rude. Problems with some online sessions here. So, like I said, make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all which are found in the description box below. And as always, I'll thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.